John Jones is the epitome of what I don't want to be. What's everybody say about John Black. Jones? Instant. <laughs> 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 Yo, welcome back. It's the SOBs. Yo, before we get this episode started today, we're gonna do a little merch plug. What's going on, guys? You go in our bio right now. Go to B18, and the link is right there. Just click on the SOB link, just like this. You can see it. Look at this fucking tutorial. You this, and you can get the design. Obviously, the shirts that we're wearing right now. You get this one. You get that one. We also sell hats, trucker hats. So just check us out. Link in bio. Thank you. Hey. Dragging it? It did work, didn't it? It worked, Kelvin? Yeah. Nice, bro. No man, no man. Hey, this way. Hell yeah. I also thought you were into the dragging these nuts. Uh, oh, the little fucking thing. Like Ligma. Oh, like Swall I feel like you really don't hit a lot of those. Like, you, I never, like, you never told me a joke, like, hey, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. With these nuts in your mouth. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like that's not your type of comedy. I'm not a 13 year old fucking more boy. Little here with the humor, but uh, oh, yeah. I try to be. But also, I love poots. Love doo doo. I love. Hell yeah! Come All right, welcome back to Stanley Only Boys. It's your boy Griffin. <laughs> this your boy Eat the Freak. What's Hell going yeah. on? Is your boy uh, Albert? What's up? It's a Don. Um, being the ultra on all platforms right now, though. It really is. It really is, gang, gang. That we means actually, 28 in English for everybody. <laughs> for all oh, the yeah. English speakers. We actually shot it in here, man. So. Man, you remember in um, I think Pretty Girls, Bean Girls. You're pretty. They're like they're like I just like <laughs> you're a pretty girl. <laughs> it's this foreign exchange student. She's like I just like math because it's the same in every language. You're like wow, that's really yeah, that's really deep or whatever. Yeah. That wasn't deep, man. I was just dumb. So is boners though. Boners are the same in every language. This guy's horny. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? How like in school, like some people are like hella smart at like social studies or like other shit but then when it comes to math it's like they just can't get it or like the other way around they're like a fucking brainiac at math but when it comes to any other subject they're like i don't know what the fuck is going math on math has a like one-to-one -one correlation with iq the same thing like playing chess if you pick out people who are good at math out of 100 people you, you the five the best people Close at math team. will be your five best people at uh playing chess also usually Damn. Awesome. Like I'm math. direct correlation now nah, i gave up on math when i showed up to class and they had x's and y's on the fucking thing i'm like yo y'all doing this shit y'all doing this shit now huh? yo man why'd you bring all my ex-girlfriends here <laughs> yeah. why are they on the board yeah i was like nah dog those, those ain't numbers dog i'm good i'm gonna I'm just skip out on this i, I used to i used to math tab. i used to not like math but um now i do i mean it's just like they give you formulas to solve it and like and that's it like i don't know there's nothing crazy you don't gotta remember what this fucking bone is called or remember whatever it's just it's very black and white you know what i mean there are some level of memorization like quadratic yeah. equation you gotta know <laughs> yo you know the quadratic like, formula i could say it right now i swear to god no no i don't i could only embarrass myself by trying let me get this up here let me really project my <laughs> voice into this i am at the table you don't want me to be great <laughs> oh, i think i think you said on the corner because i feel like you think the mic is up here but the mic is actually right here oh is that true yes that sir oh, let me just get this right here oh yeah it's just broken as fuck too there we go yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect <laughs> Hey, but um, happy birthday, Kelvin! Fuck, hey, you released a song, birthday. released a video, Fuck. released a birthday, dog. Released a birthday. Yo, so I hit up, I hit up, I hit up, I hit up YD because he didn't post, he didn't post my song, but he posted uh, he posted, hey, come on, it's all good. It's he he didn't post my song, show. right? Fuck. But he, but he posted a pro song. Yeah. And I'm like, bitch. and I'm like, oh, it's cool, dude. It's not like I dropped a song, a video, and a fucking birthday <laughs> yesterday, and bitch. And birthday dropped and the same birthday. day. And then he goes, <laughs> and then he goes, oh no, I texted you and said happy happy birthday and literally send the text message right there but i guess it just went through I'm like shut wow. the fuck up that's funny. he doesn't shut fuck with us no more. he doesn't dude i think we're too close to ab that's why dude. shout out yd one time shout out yd shout out ab two times hell yeah shout out ab I don't know who's ops anymore. I don't know who the ops hey, are. Man. Hey, yo, Drake said it's looking real oppy outside. He said, I checked okay. the weather and it's looking real oppy outside. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Shout out Drake. Yo, that Drake album has so many good quotes, dog. That's what uh, uh, one time this one dude told me. Drake's just like a walking Instagram caption machine. Well, he's, got, yeah. he's got 56 writers on it, too. So it's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, like he's got a million great Jew uh, great minds all <laughs> sitting down writing. Did you say Jewish? <laughs> Did you say Jewish? <laughs> no, 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 just 50 great minds in the entertainment. <laughs> yeah, what, what, are, what are the Jewish part come in, dog? 
just that his writers, you know, typically are going to be Jewish? Thing, smarter. Man. They're going to be the smarter people, <laughs> and the smartest people, you know, if you pick out of a hundred random people, are going to be Jewish people. Really? So if, you're getting an, if, you have, if you have millions of dollars, you're going to get an accountant. You probably won't get a Jewish accountant, ain't you? There that's was a facts. book written in 1994. That's not racist. That's just facts. By a guy named Charles Murray. Well, it could be a stereotype. Baker. Could be a stereotype. That is a stereotype. Stereotypes ain't bad. We talked about this before. You think stereotypes are bad when there's like a good thing? Like, like, saying, like oh, Mex- I watch, I watch Mexicans are hot. Mexicans oh, work so hard. Yeah, like Mexicans are hard workers. Is that like racist? Is that fucked up? Uh, honestly, if you're looking for it, if you're gonna be offended by that, then yeah, you shouldn't say it. that's. Uh, but it's like, who are any of us in this room? Like, if I say I owned a company, I was looking actively for Mexicans to hire because they work better and don't complain, and uh, they don't ask for as much money, and they always come in. Is that racist of me to say? I don't think I'm so. I'm offended as fuck right <laughs> <laughs> But you guys know white people, black people, Mexicans. If you're starting a company with manual labor, who are you, who are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? The Mexicans. No. Yeah. yeah. I helped build a house one time. There was these four Mexican guys bricking the whole house. They had like a 13-year-old mud and bricks and throwing it up to them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is not a joke. Sure they brought that, their man. own microwave and bowls of beans and rice to have 15-minute lunches because they were getting paid by the square foot on this brick. They do not play. No, nah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You never get four white dudes out there doing that. I'm tired. Let me see. Turn the air on in the truck. It's hot. <laughs> Bro, I That's exactly what they sound like. We dude. don't deserve this. It's crazy. It's almost like you're white, dog. Shut the, <laughs> there are things about the whites that I specifically <laughs> dislike due to them being the whites. Dude, I heard a guy that said he has racks with blacks and raps, dog. <laughs> whatever, that, whatever that means. <laughs> he talks about the racks with the blacks. Kelvin, yeah, Kelvin, talk to me about your fucking 28, dog. About the song? The song, the fucking video. Well, actually, I had the, actually this brings it back to this motherfucker right here. Because I remember Edwin? me and you Edward? were... Yeah, yeah, Edward e- Eaker, Rabbit. You might have had a birthday the day before his. Is, is Rabbit really your middle name, dude? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, Rabbit, yes. It's actually Edward Rabbit Eaker. Kelvin, <laughs> it's, it's so weird you're looking right here, dude. I don't know, man. I guess I'm just a fucking narcissist, bro. Because I'm, yeah, well, I'm just used to you looking over here. Now you're looking down there. I was like, what the fuck are you yeah. looking at? Damn, dude. I just I realized I don't think I said happy birthday to you, man. It's good, I t- man. I took my birthday off. Yeah, happy, I said happy birthday, right? Yeah, your, happy birthday, your birthday was like a couple of days before mine, right? Well, the day before. That's crazy. And Serge's Virgo's was the day before, too. I feel like you're kind of, I feel like you're kind of like, uh, I feel like a Don is like that. Well, I guess you too. I guess I'm just a pussy, dude. But like, I feel like you don't really make a big deal your birthday. You know, no, I just took it day. all off my social medias because I set that shit up when I was working at Mohawk and I wanted to be like, you know, innocuous kind of because I didn't want them to hear my like, pussy jokes yeah but now it's like i just want people to watch me jack off on the internet what does that have to do with your birthday uh well now nah, it's silly that i don't have my birthday on my social media now i just <laughs> there's more attention i could have gotten i just I knew it because yeah. uh i told you happy birthday yeah fucking maybe i did i did i swear to god because <laughs> hell yeah um i didn't because i didn't know I'm sorry. i brought it up snapchat it, snapchat, snapchat. Oh, snapchat. it shows uh, your little emoji it'll show like birthday cake yeah cake whatever or... like the little like confetti or whatever and yeah. then that's how i knew and that's how i knew it was serge's birthday too hey. and so i saw that Damn, on your little thing that's I was crazy. Like, birthday. all three of us born like that same no, you know what's crazy? All three of us were born, dog. We could have not sure. been the born. The odds on that are really the ones you're looking at. On Do being born? Think a billion comes. I jerk off three billion, times a day. A billion comes? I jerk off three times a day. Don't call it think a billion of the amount comes. Of comes that have left. Don't say comes. <laughs> Semen. That have no chance to, to swim right. to the dock. Now, you take the fact that if, you know... You do accidentally emit a little bit of something, something. This guy, he's not in a full group of cum. You know, he's out. He's a lone ranger, a pre-cum soldier. He's swimming up the creek. The odds on him to find those odds and getting in there, that's us, man. All right, dude, I'm about to fuck your mind up, dude. Hell yeah. Because you. your semen is not really like you. That's like just like information of yourself. Literally, whenever, whenever you come, it's literally just information, information of telling you like, it. yes, like you got black hair, you got dark eyes. You have this and this and this, and that that's what fucking goes in. Half like, Dominican, in the so whenever whenever people say like, hmm. oh, I just how many fucking presidents did I kill by jerking off or whatever? Like, how could I have the next? My kid could have been the next Michael Jackson. That's not really like true. You, 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 you don't become you don't become you don't become yourself until you're born. Well, who says that though? My kid could have been the next Michael Jackson. Dude, I think that I, I, all the time I jerk, every time I jerk I've off, said that I'm twice like since I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that could have been the, the next eat the freak. No, he's let, just, me, let me fuck you up back. Okay. So <laughs> oh, let me fuck you on. in the back. XX chromosome. <laughs> Women got that, right? So when you're given an egg, when you make an egg, it's half of your chromosomes. Going down the DNA, you split it apart. You're getting half off each side, right? Mm-hmm. So the man passes his sex chromosome along, right? Mm-hmm. If he, the man has an X and a Y. 
if he passes his Y chromosome, who is the only person he could have gotten that from in the world? Only his father. Pass, and the, the Y stays identical, right? Mm -hmm. So we now know this. We can track paternal lineage, lineage through the father, back <coughs> all the way until some random mutation because the Y is exactly intact. Your 10th great grandfather, if you look at the Y chromosome under a microscope, has the exact same one you do. There's literally the spirit of a paternal family that travels with you through the unbroken chain of Y chromosome passed down through a paternal line. So you're yeah. telling me I got ghost come? <laughs> really? I think that's what I was really no. trying to get to. You every, time you, every time you come, dude, thank your great, 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 great grandfather. Hey, man, like, hey, peace out. Grandpa. My great grandfather had 18 children because he was a priest and he believed in, you know, uh, it's better to put your seed in the belly of a whore than to spill it on the ground. And he really was filling up bellies, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think big combs are like a family trait of mine. Big combs? Big combs. Oh, man. Are you scared of dyke? Everybody is. That's our core motivation to do everything. Are you guys scared to die? Scared. I don't. I think it's whatever. I, I'm like I'm. I don't know. I'm half and half. I don't want to say I'm suicidal, but I'm okay with it. No, I would be okay with dying. Like if I just woke up and wasn't here, I'd be all right. But really, I think the fear of death is at the bottom of every single fear. Like, why do we want to be famous? We both trying to be rappers. We both trying to blow up. We, we know be, we're gonna die one day. And what are you gonna leave? I don't want to leave a small hole. A bunch of cum yeah. in people's bellies. Maybe. I've been trying to watch that, man. I ain't really got the funds to be doing that anymore, you know? And the guilt's starting to get to me about the ones out there. So You believe in God? Yes, no. Yes. Christian Sky Dad? Christian Sky Dad? No. Christian Sky Dad? What the hell is Christian Sky God. Dad? That's like the Christians. They believe there's a Sky Dad that watches everything. Sky Dad. Uh, hell yeah. yeah. But Sky the, Daddy. That's like a good nickname <laughs> for a rapper. Daddy. There's something. There's, you know who it is? Your boy Eek the Freak, the Sky Daddy. Sky Daddy. <laughs> Sky Dad, Sky Daddy for the ladies. <laughs> I think so. There's got to be, there's some governing force, even like the most predominantly portrayed for like idea of how the universe started with uh, the Big Bang or strength theory. You started like a, a singularity point in the universe, which everything expands out from. That has already lost me as far as a better idea than Sky Dad. Sky Dad and that are like 50 50 to me. But you believe in heaven though? No. Right? Because I don't believe in heaven, dog. You believe in hell? No. Maybe it's gotta this. be good heaven. If he's going to hell, he's gotta gotta make it Hoping to heaven. Hoping to make it to heaven, gotta make it to heaven. Gotta make it to heaven. Jail. So what just, is going on? <laughs> so you think you think we just like the world ends when you die, or like you reincarnate? Well, I think it just I feel ends. like there's something out there after this, and I know this from doing too much acid and mushrooms. You know, it's like because I can feel if you do a bunch of mushrooms, you get nah, this but I think it's just internal darkness, dog. I think I think it's internal darkness too. You get this thing, everything feels the same. Like grass feels like my brother. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're all just life manifesting, expressing ourselves in a way that we can maintain. So that overall life, the idea of, you know, you ever have dreams where you just or you ever have like intuitions, like I know I should do this, I know I shouldn't do that. There's some yeah. governing force that is doing that. And you could say it's conditioning from past experiences and responses, but honestly, it's maybe easier to say that there's people who are going to call him God or Sky Dad, but there's some force out there, pull, like some magnetism pulling you in a certain direction. But don't you think that's just like the way your brain is reacting to the drugs, not really like an outside force? That could be that way. But, you know, intuition is, is it extends further than drugs. I feel like I strengthen mine with drugs a lot as far as just like I should do this, I shouldn't do this. But everybody has an intuition, you know? Yeah. You know, it was crazy. You a Libra too, ain't you? Good thing you didn't say what I you know what's am, wild because I would have was gonna go crazy. A Virgo <laughs> with the Libra cusp. I think you're Libra with the Virgo cusp, right? We're on that the change of the season day. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. So it's just one day different. The change, y'all. Yeah, it's like uh, well, you were born on the day, like on the twenty second, which is the day like the fall first day starts. Of fall. Yeah, the fall equinox. Yeah, that I was, was actually conceived on the uh, winter solstice on Christmas. Hell yeah. You know when you were conceived, dude? My parents told me about their fucking schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Tell us about their fucking schedule. Uh, well, it, Christmas, apparently. I think they had just won a chicken they fighting derby in They just fucked once Oklahoma. a year that was during Christmas? No, nah, they just got back from a chicken fighting derby in Oklahoma. They won like a six <laughs> cock out there. So Hell a yeah, bunch of six money. cock. I thought, I thought chicken fights are illegal. No? They, they, are, are. they are now. But in Oklahoma, Kentucky, and Louisiana, they were legal until <laughs> like 08. Oh really? Uh -huh. yeah. You ever you been miss, you missed out on that shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my pops used to have roosters and shit. We used to fight them all the time. Your Honestly, house? When I go around here, it's all Mexicans. Yeah. It's like the the Probably white cockfighting scene has died out. But <laughs> I used to work with a guy. He had like that's all he did. Someone say the white cocks have died out, dude. 
It's, it's, not, it's, not, as, it's not as extravagant as it used to be, I dog. think people have just gotten used to them. You know, <laughs> as, but, as, you know, wages have stagnated, you know, sausages have become more prevalent in people's diets. It's like we've seen this before. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, um, yeah, 28, man. How'd, how'd, how'd that come about? <laughs> It was quick, man. You did that yeah. when you were telling me about the timeline. You were looking to do that. <laughs> yeah, in, yeah, yeah, I was like, this guy is fucking setting himself up to just fucking hate his entire birthday. And I did, and I did hate my entire birthday. Hell yeah! But um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's about, baby. No. Man, I told I told Eek, I was like, man, I want to drop. I want to drop like a song where just piano and me singing and just like on some deep shit and about you know my birthday or whatever. And uh, and then I, I think I just said something about I want like a slow song for my birthday. Like just get something that's just piano or whatever. And we found that beat, but then you know it's me, so I gotta throw some trap shit in there. So we found that beat, we found the other one, and then we're like, can you put these together? And then I was like, I'll try. And we put them together, like got to put that little build up in there. The no 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 so hard. And then like yeah, that's actually like a. Uh, thing what's the show um twilight zone mm -hmm. we took something from the twilight zone and we just like yeah and we like slowed it down or whatever changed the pitch and shit Jeez. yeah yeah no yeah. it came out i'm telling you i've been bumping that shit in the gym i'll tell you like yeah. slamming around 60 pound weights like if they were 120s yeah so that's what my, my idea was i wanted to have the first part be like very vulnerable which is that like i and be like almost like like you said when you heard it like fuck what to cry dude it was and then just when you think what this because the, the the intro is mad long the intro is like almost a minute so just when you think what you know this song is like okay this is just like a slow fucking song okay Right there, we just switch it and Let me make talk it. Let to y'all, motherfuckers, real quick. Make it completely different, because basically the the beginning is just like, damn, I don't want to keep doing this, and it's like, nah, fuck that, I'm never gonna stop. Let's go, let's get it. So you've been like one of the most active artists in the area easily over the last year. You've been hella active. Oh, yeah, you've been facts. doing videos. You've been releasing music, Thank and you. I'm also an artist in this area. I know the relative, uh, you know, not a disappointing. Uh, turn up but it's like you know every time you feel like you're onto something you feel like this is going to be the one that pops you and i you know i go through this with myself this look into the mirror what keeps you like turning forward into this shit um i guess it goes back to the fear of fucking dying bro really like um fod like from the point when i'm making this hella long from the point i graduated you know high school fod what? Sorry, we didn't mean to interrupt your and Eek's fucking interview. My bad. We're trying uh, to do a podcast over here. Yeah, my bad, guys. It's my bad. Our bad. But um, from the point where I graduated when I was eighteen, I felt this giant pressure of like I gotta get in my mom's. Kelvin, just keep going. I can't. You keep fucking noticing it. He's not gonna stop. It distracts his shit. It's like a fucking dog. You just gotta not pay attention, dog. Essentially, my question is just: it is like it's almost punishment. I thought we were talking about rap. Work. It's hard. It's hard. Work. 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 Work um not okay to restart again uh from the point i was 18 i felt this massive pressure of like i gotta get out of my mom's house and i have to uh like you know do something make money do something and for the first five years of my life i basically tortured myself to do that and then i did that and i wasn't happy and then i figured out like the only time that i was really happy was when i was like back in high school making music and shit you know and at the 27 years old I felt like I was too old for that shit already. That's but when I started. I started at twenty seven. But then I realized I'm like, this feeling is not gonna get a lot better. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel less regret when I'm thirty or forty or fifty or sixty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, I might as well just do it now and see Damn, what I'm happens. glad I didn't try to do an artistic endeavor when yeah. I was young enough to make it work. And I and I just heard this <laughs> thing where it's like better. what you say about the consistency thing, uh I think one of you guys sent it where it's like I think you mentioned it one time. And it was like uh it's like I didn't fail a hundred times. I just found a hundred ways how not to do it, you know? Thomas so every time I release a song, I never see it. Even if nobody sees it but just us, I never see it like, oh, this song was a failure. I was like, okay, whatever I did whenever I released that song, don't do those things again. And let's do it again. Pulling out rules for I see, this worked, this I didn't see, work. I see every song as just an opportunity to just... You be looking going. at other artists too for like what they're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, what's going on? Peligro was largely based on that Raul Alejandro song because people was like fucking with that shit. Which, heavy, like, not out yet, but it will be. Um, that's a banger, though. October-ish. Yeah. Great yeah. song, great song. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no, I definitely see what's going on. Like, I feel like you have to, you know what I'm saying? Not you, you know. Y'all know Fathead from no. Dalton? 
black you know, dude be uh, sounds like familiar remodeling gotta, Walmarts and shit. I got, got him on my head. Snapchat, dude. This guy is such a sneakers. Like, I sit here and like watch this dude. I, I'm not like a huge fan of his music, which is irrelevant because I'm not his target audience. He's so good with the promotion, and like you never see a chink in this guy's armor. When you so watch his Snapchat story, which is where he does the majority of his promotion, he is God. He is the greatest rapper of all time. He's the greatest artist of all time. He's going uh, off the top on his story. He's going uh, uh, acapella on his story to songs of his, and it's like I like him more every time I watch that because of how much he believes it. And I have been learning just from the shadows. This dude probably don't even know I exist. I'm his biggest fan over here on the side. Yeah. But that's what it is. It was just really putting yourself out, man. And I feel like that's my biggest, like, fucking thing. People scared thing. of judgment. Scared of what people think. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if my, my, mine is as much as judgment, but I don't know. I just feel weird, like, just grabbing a camera and being like, just doing stupid Watch shit. I don't know. It just it feels okay. weird. <laughs> Jack Wolf. Like, yeah. Like, I just feel weird being like. Kelvin Jack's off to his song, Bana. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, get an OnlyFans, dude. And just fucking play your music on it. <laughs> nah, nobody fucking Who the fuck would pay for that? <laughs> Barefoot or some. I did Patreon, which is kind of like OnlyFans for artist, artists. I just haven't posted any jerk off vids, which I feel like is really hurting me. Yeah. Like, you should, dog. I Man jerks off with his mullet. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't know. From a weird angle, though. Like, no. from the camera's like between my feet. And <laughs> no, it's yeah. like, no, it is right there. That angle. And that's but, a, like, that's a great angle. <laughs> oh my God, it's such a good angle. Look, imagine, imagine, I can, I can literally up, show my up, whole. Roll them up so it looks like like you're just naked. Like, <laughs> it's fun too. And then pull the shirt it, down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that looks Welcome back so to like... another episode. <laughs> <laughs> This episode brought to you by Twisted C. Twisted C. <laughs> this is effective marketing. That's great. Nah, no, I'm good. <laughs> nah, no, I'm good. <laughs> you need help with marketing? <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm good. That's that's such a. Fuck. Is it embarrassing dang, your whole dog. meat can be here by Twisted there's our, T? Can there's, our, there's our new reel, dog, right there. Yeah, <laughs> facts. That definitely isn't that. Oh uh, hell yeah, eat man. Thanks for having me back here, guys. I had so much fun with you guys. Yeah, I feel like anytime we you sit here, you're just permanent standing. Yeah, we just hit a, me up, man. You know I'm here. You know I'm right down the road. The yo, first time we came, you, you know, you guys road? asked me so many questions like about myself. Yeah, and that like, was cool to do. Second time, we just sat in here and jerked off. We just no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> literally be jerked off. I did not, I did not jerk off. Yeah, you were drunk. Y'all were jerking off. You're, no, you're I'm jerking. Yeah, we did a, a I circle jerk. I think you're fisting. I, I don't know. I didn't jerk off. I don't know what you guys are saying. Dude, Am I too gay. low right now? Is this too low? <laughs> nah, you're good, no, bro. Dude, gay dudes be having hella sex, huh? They oh, have gay to. dudes? Yeah. Do they be fucked? I thought about this. Yeah. I used to <laughs> thought about it a lot. <laughs> about being gay? Yeah, no, about, not about gay being dudes gay, but fucking. Like, Girls are the gatekeeper, you know. I heard y'all talk about this in y'all last podcast. Mm -hmm. Girls are like the gatekeeper, so they say yes or no. If it was up to the dude, the girl asked, do you want to fuck? For like the first time, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. yeah. But imagine two dudes who are just both like, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Hey, I want to fuck you too, dog. Hey, dude, I, mean, I like, like you, man. I like you too, dog. We should get married. <laughs> we, we should get married. Why is gross? That's a, that's a gross. <laughs> I feel like I feel like everybody has thought like in their I don't life. Really think it's gross. That's a Dave Chappelle skit. Black yeah. Bush. Oh, oh, four second season. We'll put a, we'll put a warning thing on there. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like everybody has thought like, could I be gay? I don't know. I've thought about it. It's yeah. just it feels too good when pretty bitches give you attention to be it sounds, gay. Yeah. That's straight up it. Yeah. And I feel that attention when a pretty gay dude will like be trying to talk to me or something like that, hit me up on social media. I feel that little like uh, but it's a minor flutter compared to when a pretty bitch hits you up and is like, you know, trying to give you that attention that yeah. you maybe feel uh, deserving or undeserving of it's a different kind of little tingle in the balls, you know. What yeah. I'm saying? Or even like, or even like when your homies are messing with you, like on some gay shit. Like you're like, I don't. It's a little too close, dude. That's a little, like you know, like that's like. But I still like about to see you get butterflies when they do that <laughs> shit. I, like, like, that's I was like, I just I held your hold your waist for support <laughs> when you were fixing the cameras. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The camera was like, ooh. <laughs> no, nah, you know what I'm saying. I never felt like, oh, this is great. I want to fuck George right now. I would. If I, was I mean, I thought about that, but. You guys I, nothing I would about, say on camera. You guys ever think about the fact that we'll never have to go to war with swords? How sick oh, is that? Dude, that would have been... How many people have <laughs> lived, honestly, knowing from the time they're little children, that if a rival horde comes, you got to get this sword out, bro? That's fucking no, old. Just imagine, like, the fucking... Like, right now, like, with, like, you know, current wars, and you got guns and shit, you already get fucked in the head from it. Just imagine, like, close combat. Yeah, nah, that's back almost then, gone. Back then, there was no, like, gone. mental whatever thing. They just called that's you a witch it. and burned you. That's it. Yeah, if... If you if the rival horde was coming and you were too scared to pick up the sword, it's like you're gone. You're you're not here with us. You don't get to keep what we keep. 
And then if it's your rival horde moving, baby, it's your time to go. Yarn most men, what I yarn, baby. Most men in history die in war. Yeah. And um, I was watching, y'all seen that one movie, The King, I think, or something? The King with of me? Timothy Chalmers, blah, 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 blah. Little oh, French, yeah. little That's French exactly dude. How you say it. But um, that, that was like one of the most like accurate dis- uh, like descriptions of fucking war. Because it was like war? wars with swords or whatever. Mm. And um, because like a lot of them, like they would just fucking die from like, they would fall or something like that. Yeah. And just be trampled because, I mean, they're all like. This Roman big. Legion is 64 by 64, you know, a square shield formation. So if you have one guy that takes a spear to the shoulder and he drops, the yeah. guy to his left is now undefended. Like this so much. The idea of building in camaraderie to survival, it's such a human, because tr- we're, we're little tribe monkeys, really. You know what I'm saying? Like it, hardware wise, we're still the, the pl- we just left the planes. You know what I'm saying? Our software has been updated really quick. But as far as like how we think when it comes down to like fight or flight, we're still those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still those monkeys, man. And that that wartime element, sports. When you play, watch NFL. Those guys are not operating on a, a sports game. Uh, you know, that's not programmed into the human subconscious or human psyche. That's a war to these people subconsciously. That's why you can see people whose vertical jumps thirty eight inches go forty eight inches up, and you know, ODB a pass behind their head when life and death is on the line especially for the survival of your comrades. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because self-preservation is like, I think, subconsciously our, our highest thing based off fear of death. But when you accept people into your clan, psychologically, when they're you, also, you'll put yourself you're so much more out there for them. That's facts. Yeah, that's why I say, I'm like, I mean, like, you know, doing sports, you get like, you get really close with people. They can become like some of your good friends, oh, that yeah. camaraderie you build, dog. Yeah. And you know, I've thought about this. Did they say the Greek armies and the Spartans all like fucked each other in the ass and shit? Yeah. yeah. They were gay and stuff. But you feel that in the locker room where people like popping each other nah, on the butt like good game. Nah, so, you know, <laughs> I get what you saying. A, a rival clan <laughs> moving in. We might actually fuck over this. It, it's yeah, a home yeah. game. And I'm yeah, we, could, butt. we could train, you know. Yeah, we, we can make love after this fucking game. Who are you going to fight harder for? Nobody, nobody, nobody's ever, hey, let's fuck over this. You're gonna, we're, we're gonna train fight harder man. for a random cab driver or a guy that made you come from prostate pleasure. They were like, <laughs> think about it. Hey, like, hey, high five. We just won this war. Now let's go fuck. Hey, yo, we can, they can, you, you can dog. train. We can train swords. We can do a little hand to hand combat. Or we can fuck a little. And if you, you can know? draw it out, it's cardio, baby. Fuck, we're getting even stronger. Speaking about um wars and fucking man, UFC 266, 265. Probably Lawler v was last night. Um. Fuck, what Nick are your thoughts Diaz. on that? What are your thoughts on that? I, mean, I feel like Nick Diaz was the big, big talking point on that. He was, but Robbie Lawler's a monster, dude. His nose is now just concave into his face, so it can't get broke no more. Just all the bones are just yeah. powdered. Dude, that, the amazing fight they held with uh, Rory McDonald. I think that's one <laughs> everybody brings up. that war. That shit was insane. I watched that last week in prep for this fight. But um, I think, I mean, Diaz just did look like he did not want to be in there, dog. He looked like shit. Looked I don't like, know, man. He came out. You know, it took him about 30 seconds to throw a punch. He's kind of doing the little Nate Diaz thing. And then he starts really letting go on Robbie Lawler. And if you look, Lawler's swinging. And Nate Diaz is such a great boxer. That NorCal uh, Stockton. Stockton just like California. Almost like lazy boxing almost. It's like he'll move three inches and the, the it'll just glance off the side of his head. He took no damage. The other dude has expressed his full energy, and he's just boom, boom, ducked under, ducked under. He's unloading on Lawler, too. One, two, three, combo. Lead, lead shots to the body. Look for him in MMA next time. You watch a good fight, a lead to the body, no. you don't see that. No. He's an excellent boxer. I think hey, they threw him in a five-round fight, man. Like, how many people – in all of UFC history, how many people have completed a five-round fight? One, it's an elite club to get to fight one. Yep. You're up for a championship or some of this new shit they're doing with Nick. Like, he got a five-rounder or whatever. Um, I don't, I don't th- you know, what do you want from him? He's been out of the game six years. He's fighting Robbie Lawler, who's a certified bulldog who you think, cannot be killed. You think Nick looked comfortable in there, though? I feel like he didn't look comfortable, though. He, I thought, like, he looked like he didn't want to be there. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, I say he looked, he looked all right, but, you know, but like. But I feel um, like he always has kind of like a bland look in his face. He wasn't getting dominated at any point. Yeah, so. but I, I just. Well, he got hurt, and then like I feel like as soon as he got hurt in his head, like or he got rocked or whatever. Because I mean, they're known for getting rocked and just staying in the fucking fight. But as soon as he got rocked, they're like in his head is like, man, like this not it, was, it wasn't worth it. And mixed anymore. martial arts, you got to do it. I feel like he just fucking. Just, it's round three. I just lost the last two rounds. I just got stunned and knocked down. I've been out of the game for six years. I'm trying to come back. This is Nick Diaz is psyche. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to take two more rounds of fucking Robbie Lawler beating the fuck out of me, or really? 
Is it my in the best interest of my kids, in the best interest of my wife to take this knee? I don't, I don't know. Go ahead and check out of this and schedule another fight. Maybe against not a world champion. For, don't forget, Robbie Lawler is a dog, yeah. a monster. So, yeah, I mean, I just. We haven't even seen his dick yet. Says you. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, so I, I'll say it was a little disappointing. I expected just more. More of this, Go, more, 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 yeah, more, yeah, more, more stocked and slap, more like the. Yeah, honestly, it was just, it was just him giving up because that's just what I saw that he just gave up. I just wish it would have. I mean, like he's. I mean, I hate to he, use that word, especially with Nick Diaz. Somebody you yeah. know is a dog. Somebody, you but know I feel like that's what he dog. did. I mean, I guess essentially, but at a certain point, yeah, you want to see the fighter, the the part of me that loves UFC, that fucking watches that shit before I jerk off. That part I, did, I watch see, a while I jerk off. I wanted to see his <laughs> nose ripped off and him in there just hammer fist and forward till he got knocked out. But this is a man who has now had he has a new set of issues. He's not going to get the belt. You know, he's not going to take the 185 belt from Adesanya. No. Ever in history would that no. happen. He has to take inventory how much damage he wants to take moving forward in his career. And I love Nick Diaz. I love everything he's done for the sport. And if he had to, you know, call it in the third, call it in the third, I'd love to see him again. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't want to like, you know, knock him or anything, you know, big fan, always been a fan, but yeah, it was just, I don't know, I just, uh, I guess, you know, like you said, it's been six years away from the game. I feel like he was there, you know, collect a paycheck and bounce. Greatest fighter in MMA right now. Right now? If you weigh their weight, they're the one draw you don't want, for sure. Name them. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't and fight Francis Ngannou, but I feel like... Um, if you're I 265, think, you wouldn't get in there and take a chance and swing a lot of shot at him? No, I would. But I'm just saying, like, he would, like, fuck me up. But yeah. I'm saying, like, I weigh 185. Think but John Jones is the best. Yeah. With Izzy Adesanya? Oh, That'd my God. He's the, he is on a, such another level. I think that kid is a kid. He's older than me. That's the greatest mixed martial artist I ever watched. He's already really? 18. Yeah, he's 31, I oh, think, now. Oh, fuck. I thought he was, like, Early he comes 20, out doing like mid, anime intros. You saw the fight with Anderson Silva where he hits him with the. Yeah. He did the, he did the rock thing too. That he put like the rock theme song at the end of his song or whatever. That uh, anime Death Note. He comes out before oh, the little... uh, Kevin Gaslam fight, I think, and writes that down and puts it back. I love that guy, man. Yeah, no, he's hard. Probably him and Jones, probably like the best. John Jones got arrested two, two days ago. Hell yeah, dude. That's just how he starts his tr- fucking Get training camp, shit. dog. <laughs> clown out of shit. Here. That's how man. he starts his training. He gets arrested, then he goes into camp. That's what he does. He That's how he starts over, his fights. He he has... No, he goes into camp, he fails a drug test, then he yes. goes back into camp, then he fights. Yeah, there you go. My, <laughs> he, John Jones is the epitome of what I don't want to be. What's everybody say about John Black. Jones? Black. Instant. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. Look at this guy. Unlimited potential. Started out just flawless execution. But he's his own worst enemy. And just fucked it away because he's, he's his own worst enemy. Mm-hmm. His demons were too loud. Water, <laughs> that shit right there scares the shit out of me. When people come to me and try to talk to me, tell me to stop slowly killing myself, I always think about John Jones. Stop right slowly here. killing myself. <laughs> yeah, but hey, is John Jones still trying to kill himself? I'm going to keep trying to kill myself. Yeah, I think right now, out of shape, John Jones will walk into uh, light heavyweight and fucking blast yeah. everybody in the division. He just, yeah. He's just so good. He's so smart, so technical. When he started, he, had, he didn't know anything. He didn't. He had no belts. He was just like kind of learning Muay Thai, kind of learning Taekwondo, kind of learning kickboxing. Like he just, just got uh, not accepted into college. Went to start training. Uh, two weeks later, I think four weeks later, he fought his first fight. Fought another pro fight right after. Two weeks after that, another pro fight like three or four weeks after that, and just killing motherfuckers. Yeah. Those fucking elbows that he was hitting Shogun Hua with his first uh, dude. The the body shot he got him when he dropped him. So beautiful. He was already so dead. So, he was so beautiful. done before that. Yeah, but just the dig. Oh, I love it. When the way at like twenty three, he was a fucking world champion, the uh, the youngest uh, UFC champion. Ever. And his brothers is like the NFL, no? That dude, that dude, that's family's just animals. Yeah, Mike Jones too, too, man. He's a rapper. <laughs> no, 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 he's that's a rapper. No, he's, not, he's not in there. No, I don't think Mike that's, Jones. No, no. Oh, I thought that's part of family. <laughs> this is uncle. This is uncle. <laughs> Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. <laughs> gotcha. God, he, he got you in the first two, huh? Yeah, 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 <laughs> he like, yeah, fuck. Fuck. The last one, I was like, I'm going to say it anyway. Yeah, you know, you go, you just, you know, do it for the joke, dog. I watch UFC before I write a lot. Before I write rap music. Yeah. I love to watch UFC. I love to watch UFC and porn. Like, oh, good. Yeah. I'll watch it for just not even jerking off. I'll watch UFC <laughs> or I'll watch porn and listen to UFC in the background. Yeah. I feel like it gets the creative juices flowing so hard. Just carnal violence, carnal sexuality. Yeah, dude. Every time you turn your head like that, the mic does not understand what you said. At all, baby. But <laughs> talking about 
<laughs> but talking about mics, dude, you ever go throw an axes, dude? I Oh, hey, Trevor from the Stanley Only Boys here. Ever want to throw some axes? Do you live in the Northwest Georgia area? Well, right here in Don Georgia, we have Big Axe Throwing. At Big's Axe, you can bring all your family and friends and throw axes. You can even play Zenga like my boy Don right here. Hey, Don from Stanley Only Boys. Here at Big's Axe, we're better and own, better and friendly. Nothing like having a couple beers, throw a couple axes with your friends. Isn't that right, Griffin? Oh, hey, it's Griffin. And when you hear your first bullseye here at Big Zach's, you get Viking up and you get a picture go on the wall. And we also have seasonal leagues where people can come out and participate in an eight week league event for a chance to win some medals and, and uh, medallions. So make sure you come check them out at 825. Chat to me out. We're just not a business, we're a family. Yo, so last night, Yo. dude. Welcome back to the Stanley Oni boys. I got some, uh, I got some snacks from last night, and they'll be up here. Obviously, some snatch. You got some snacks last <laughs> night. <laughs> no, no, no. Snap, 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 snap. Yeah. How was it? Uh, <laughs> first off, let's talk about body shots. Oh, so crazy! I saw Don had your back, bro. <laughs> Somebody trying to creep up too far on the belly button. He was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And the way, because I feel like everybody does body shots. Like whatever you're laying down, they come from the side, right? Yeah. Here, right. And then, but like, she, but she, sexual as fuck. Like, they, like rubbed your legs, just there. fucking. Oh, like, this going. is the one snap that's not gonna be on. Rubbed her, her nose on your penis. <laughs> you like, have to imagine this one. Yeah. DM me on IG. I saved it for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So Bastion, gang gang, broke one of my fucking chairs, right? Bro. <laughs> and now I have come to the conclusion that uh whoever raised you motherfuckers <laughs> never taught you how to sit on chairs. What are the odds that I have two broken chairs in my house out of all the people? It might have been a hundred people that have come to my house, right? No broken have, chairs, not one. Not one. And the motherfuckers that break the chairs happen to be brothers, dude. No, <laughs> nothing like, nothing weird about that. That's a lack of home training. <laughs> <laughs> I just there's, 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 there's been bigger bigger people sit down on those Someone chairs. Someone didn't teach them how to use bro, chairs. It's not their fault. Bro, you know what's the funniest <laughs> shit? After he broke it, Griffin was sitting in the chair. He goes, because then uh, uh, Bastion was like, "Yo, that's your that's your." He, he said it in the weirdest way, bro. This one thing I remember. He goes, "That chair fucked me." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what did he oh, say what? it like that? It probably did when he fell, man. So probably went up there. <laughs> and then George is sitting in the chair. He's like, nope, this is sturdy as fuck. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, no, keep doing it, keep doing it. He was just talking and sturdy. Yeah, he like, kept I stood up, oh, fucking elbow that <laughs> shit. It still didn't break on Bro, me. but the strength that the chair didn't have, the table had, dude. Dude. <laughs> Shut up that fucking table. Go dog. for it, go for it. Uh, but yeah, no, that was funny shit too, because even with that, that was, even before, that was before the chair broke. That was for a lighter. Uh, everybody was like, oh. Oh, is the table sturdy enough? Is the table sturdy enough? And like we started clearing it off, and then I jumped on it and fucking yeah. like wiggled on it and fucking yeah, made sure. Bills Mafia. And I was like, it's good as fuck, dude. It's just sturdy as hell. Y'all seen the Bills Mafia? It's like the Buffalo Bills fan group that followed them around. Uh -huh. They they're like rite of passage is they light a plastic table on fire and they will throw each other through it. Hell yeah! If you break the some people I saw at the tailgates last year. You know they made the playoffs. A dude went off the top of a bus. They had a bus pulled up to tailgate, lit the table on fire. Off the top of the bus, RKO, <laughs> RKO out of nowhere, on no one, and just slams through a table. His clothes are on fire. He's still just like, yeah. I love the Bills fan base, dude. They fuck. Hell yeah. Shout out the Bills. Shout out the Bills. Hell yeah. I work with a guy named Bill. I'm Bro, ask him was that crying last night? Though? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> multiple times. I saw that. I saw that snap too. I was just like fucking like, like it was like after tears of joy, baby. When the lights came on, you guys were happy, saying happy birthday. I'm like, I'm like, am I fucking crying? Dude, there was it was so oh it was funny and weird at the same time because like you're getting emotional just with like me and Don mm -hmm. and like we're like in a huddle so and like some man. big ass <laughs> big ass Dominican dude just fucking stands there and like stares at you. And I was just like, who the fuck's this guy? Yeah. Like, and I was like, dude, if we gotta fight this guy, it's, it's gonna be fucking horrible. Because <laughs> no, he's big. It's gonna be a 3v1. So he was just, really just standing there. I mean, you knew him. 
I don't know who he was. Oh, it was um, no, it was fucking uh, yeah, 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 Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. Yeah, no, it was yeah, this huge yeah. dude, and then like I was like, yo, COVID, I think he, I think he wants you. You're like, no, no, good, fuck that guy. I'm talking to y'all right now. I was like, I did it. That's not that. Yeah, I was like, all That's right. Wild. And then like he stood there for a good solid like five minutes, and then like eventually I was like, yo, this dude wants to talk to you, COVID. And then you're like, oh, yo, what's up? And like, who are you? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? This and that. And I'm like. We gotta fight this guy now. Yeah. At one point, we threw Kelvin up in there. We were like trying to like toss no. him. Yeah. What was it called? Uh, the light touch, thousand fingers, light touch. Some girls do it at sleepovers. You know what I'm saying? They put all their fingers under somebody, like 20 people. Oh, raise up slightly. oh, oh. I thought you were describing light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as. Is that what That's a real do? thing? You can lift them up. Well, think about it. If you if you raise up like four pounds on each hand that's two hands multiplied by 20 hands that's fucking a lot of pounds that, yeah, that, yeah. that I can't calculate quickly <laughs> that's a fucking that's, lot of pounds good at math particularly but yeah you just levitate somebody right up man yeah oh yeah but yeah then I got COVID on my shoulders too throwback right there dude. bro yeah, yeah, wow. it's gonna be DB, so cool DB when I get so invited to one of you guys worried. party no, I wanna <laughs> say I wanna say last last I'm just over here on the sidelines like man this sounds sick <laughs> Keep going, guys. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> but like, DB was like so worried that I had you on, on your like I had you on my shoulders, and then uh, somebody told me to get you down. I got you down, and like DB's like, "Why'd you do that? You could have fell and like broke his tooth again." And I was like, <laughs> what? "I was like, dude, that dude's not gonna oh, fucking, fucking fall. Pussy. Don't talk about that." <laughs> I was like, "That dude's not gonna fall, dude." I was like, "I got him." He was like, "Dude, he was leaning back and forth." I was like, "I know. I felt him." Yeah, but um, I'm good. Uh, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. Over, dude. Go ahead, dude. What dude, this saying? is a fucking <laughs> pearl. Huh? Hey, sh- shout out Little Pearl. <laughs> the competition, I think, has been decided. <laughs> you got to change his name now, right? That was a deal? Yeah, I don't think he ever accepted it, honestly, because it was just me being a bully. Alan said, um, he said no. Yeah. <laughs> he said no. Yeah, yeah. I would say no, too. Honestly. Man, Alan's such a manager, dude. Like, I remember uh, on AB Snap, like, whenever they were editing the video, like, I was, just, I was just Alan there, like Pearl wasn't even there. I'm like, God, this guy's such a <laughs> such a manager, dog. Crazy, because we don't do any of that for you. That's we keep I saying you're your manager. When I first started, that's how Matt was with my stuff. It's on top of all of it, recorded all of it, edited all of it. Sometimes Matt was on top of me. <laughs> no, yeah. I, no, no, you're talking about the music, music. No. Music yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they played music when fucking, that happened. Fucking wish yeah. he was on top of me. But talking about being on top and you have a man on your shoulders, <laughs> I feel like last night was like the first, uh, like, just like, it just felt like, like last year, dog. It was like the first time it ever oh, felt like. Kind of felt like just felt the same, like that same vibe, like that crazy. Fuck yeah, I think, it was, I think it was it nice. Good? It was the cookout, you know, then Dude, going out fights. There's so I mean, many fucking everything. shots. I did. There was. <laughs> there's so many shots. So don't mind me. I'm just being passive. I do, man. Like, I, mean, I don't know, man. I miss that shit. I mean, I know we can't. I mean, it's not fuck. Uh, number one, it's not healthy or very expensive to go out every fucking weekend. Definitely. But I feel like we should do it more, man. I miss. That. Yeah, shit. definitely. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm always down. I'm go fuck. I would up. like to have you know the boys' general stew sesh uh, here like Thursday, Thursday night, releasing "Can't Stay Sober" Friday morning. I'd like to do a little get together here. I'd be hard. Maybe you guys would be interested. No Instagram live action. Fuck it. Nah. Been, yeah, I'm down. I've been Facebook living to my detriment, bro. Oh, do you guys have? You ever tried Premiere on your videos? Uh, I accidentally YouTube? premiered my last video. You can't change it ever after mm-hmm. you upload it as a premiere. Yeah, yeah. We got like a thousand views, so I can't delete it. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. I fucked it all up. I yeah. know what to do. Next one better. Yeah, next yeah. one better. Exactly, exactly. But I did the premiere thing, and that's that shit. I didn't even know. Were I, people it, in there with you? People I, that were engaging of that? Well, it was me and Griffin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Roger <laughs> and Roger. Yeah, Roger Puff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Who the yeah fuck? Roger. Roger Puff. Yeah, Roger the guy I went to high school with. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> yeah, dude. This I forget. I, I don't know who the fuck I was talking to, me. but um, no, it was somebody. Me. I'm like, oh, what are you? What are you doing later? Or whatever, something. And they're like, oh, I'm hanging out with um, see that she came from Oklahoma, blah blah. So we're in here in Atlanta. And I'm like, man, hell yeah, dog. She needs to come out more, dog. She needs. <laughs> and then and they're like, oh, huh? you don't even know her. I'm like, yeah, I don't fucking know. Why are you tell me all this shit, dog? <laughs> bro, fucking. I really, I told this motherfucker this yesterday. He's like telling me some story about some hot broad. And he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, I met her. I met her at the gym or something. Blah blah. blah. Her name is uh, I don't know, Rosie Daisy. And I'm like, and I'm like, and then he just keeps saying the story. I'm like, 
do you notice how saying her name didn't fucking matter in the story? It's like, I, know this, I don't know this. I don't know this person. Yeah. I don't know this they person at all. That. Why do white people feel like they have to name yeah. the person's first and last name in every story? Nah, you, you know those Braxton Riggs. You they know? did even like in high school. Bracket all the Ridge. white boys, they'd be like, Bracket Bracket Ridge. Yeah. They always call it. They always said they're like the na- either well, their full name or just the last name. This stood out. This chick curved me so hard, and just in every way, she is definitely like. Out, it, when I think of my league, out of it, like she's very put together and like older and mature. You know what I'm saying? Well, way out of your league, dog. You gotta, You're a fucking shit show, bro. Yeah, honestly, if you know me well, everybody out of my league. But if, you know, when you, just get, <laughs> when you just get that first little taste, it's like, oh, this might be a catch. But okay, I feel like I, I got to that stage with her, and then we hung out twice enough. This is where normally I put the hooks in. Never hit me back up, bro. Oh. I, I text her. I text her like maybe two more times. You know, and I. I felt my self-esteem at this point is plummeting for having to do this. She was like, you should have applied more pressure. It's like, bitch, what does that mean? Like, what is that? Uh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, didn't, so I didn't even like her that much till she curved me. And then I started to see every good thing about this woman. Her taste in men, I knew it was good. She had curved me after the second date. Facts. So I kind of respected her a little, but I felt like I needed to say the first and last name just in case he knew she, who she was because she's so beautiful. And if you're watching this, I love you. Sorry. sorry Rosie sorry, Daisy. Sorry, sorry. Rosie Daisy. Yeah. Rosie Daisy, please me. Do you think, like you said, you got you kept getting uh, neglected and that fucked up your self esteem? Do you think that like I feel like getting neglected like boosts up your self esteem? It didn't really fuck what? up self esteem. I feel like I feel like it does because you keep getting re- you you start building self esteem because like you're already getting rejected so much. It's like you're not scared to come yeah. up to chicks no more. It's like getting like a thicker skin. Oh okay. Yeah. Like, oh okay. That, okay. That's the only okay. gonna happen. Just get a no. A like, oh, they're fucking do this shit all the time. There's an unspoken sport called trophy fucking, and few men engage in it. <laughs> and it's just like when you see a girl and the other dudes can't fuck her. Can you? It's crude. It's primitive. It's unspoken. Even dudes don't even talk about it. But you know when you got that friend who has just been like piping dime after dime. You know, trophy fucking. Yeah. And when you know there's there's levels to that. And when you think that you have got one just right, re- you already got the fucking bronze polish out on the shelf to just, <gasps> got it. And then it just gets yanked out from under you. You start to really look at someone as if they could do no wrong. It really hurts. Uh, it hurts in a way that kind of makes you better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think, well, how can I develop this? This uh, this art? Yeah. This I know. Art. I realize when it comes to picking up chicks, dude, it's just really like, you got to just realize chicks are just like dudes, Not man. Not that heavy. They're just... <laughs> You just like pick them up. You gotta, they, they you gotta the honestly be the target. Yo, hey, there's some fat the... bitches out there, dog. Yeah, shout out all, all these aggressive. fat bitches, dog. Okay, oh my god, all right. My Fuck. DMs, are my Instagram link right below. <laughs> I see you here all the time, dude. Shout I love out me a fat bitch, dog. No facts, dog. <laughs> I love me a fat. I love me a fat broad. If you ain't, I don't mean thick. I mean fat, bro. If, if you ain't down with the mom roll, you can't get down with the mom no, hole. Oh, yeah, so like, so like, you you're talking about like my uh, what is it? My six hundred pound wife. No, my okay, my George. Pound, whatever. No, I don't want to fucking somebody that's obese. Dude, pick bro. a crease. <laughs> oh, uh, probably like a solid two, man. How tall is she now? Five four. Yeah, because that's take a, that. that's you might okay five five two two hundred. I think I'm high, dog. No, okay, look. My, I thought of, I'm high, too, and I'm going to start oversharing. <laughs> recently, <laughs> recently, I had found myself uh, giving attention to, willingly, and thankfully, willingly. now on the other side of, women who are just on the healthier and healthier th- side of things, you know? And it's like, I think there's certain subconscious things that go behind a big woman that I didn't appreciate fully till my later date. A big woman can cook gravy from scratch. You know, if you smell bacon cooking, you ain't about to get no pack ass gravy just thrown in some fucking water. You know this. That has value. You know what I'm saying? You get older, you start to wake up, you might not just want fruity pebbles or something like that. You want some some biscuits and gravy. <laughs> and you want some real gravy. A big woman is Hell gonna yeah. give you real gravy. Man, straight oh, up. Real, real gravy's funny, y'all, huh? <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't uh, never had this dude. Uh, never had real gravy. Yeah, I never had real gravy. That's why I'm so funny. funny. It's not why we're laughing. It's not why we're laughing. It's not why we're laughing. <laughs> I had the blood in my hand and I just like, before I was gonna pass it before I pass it, I'm like, let me check on my boy, make sure he's good. And I go, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> A little he spice looks, to the he program. He looks so fucking scared. No, real gravy's not. I, I've never had it. I've never had it, but I'm sure it's great, dude. I'll make some for oh, y'all. You take that bacon grease and sprinkle just a little bit of flour, right? Mix it up. Hell you got to yeah. have a solid consistency before you add milk. 
milk. Then slowly said. put the milk in. Start mixing that milk. that fine consistency of that bacon grease and flour milk. out. <laughs> and then let you get your own gravy. When you get the damn that bacon grease, that flour, if you get it in the same consistency, let it fry for a minute, get real dark. That's how you get brown gravy and that shit. That'll bro. have them calling back. I'll have them texting back for real. Bro, you know what Dang. I hate? I hate <laughs> <laughs> gravy out the back. What do you hate, bro? Yo, what do you what hate? Is? I hate anything that you have to like need more than like six ingredients to make. You hate the, uh, you this is why you need <laughs> you're the, like, cooking. women. George loves cooking. I do like cooking. George gets down I in the kitchen. I went culinary school. You mean, what? what? Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. He was a cook in the fucking Navy. In the oh, Navi. yeah, yeah, yeah. Usnavi, some would say. I got promoted E1 to E4 for graduating first out of this school. Yes, yeah, so when, like when you're a chef, you, you still, like if there's a war, you still got to go fight motherfuckers too? No, even if I was required to, I would draft dodge. I wouldn't go. All right. What? But. Yeah, I'm not required to go back. I'm out of my, you have four years in active reserve on the end of a four year active. So I did, I volunteered for a fifth year so I could do another deployment. So I only had three years in active. Did that already. But if for some reason, legally, they said I had to go, I would not go. No, I'm saying go like, back. Like, whenever you're already there, well, like you're, you're the yeah, cook. Yeah, yeah. Say like your shit started like wherever you're. You're like what well, on the ship? Ship aircraft carrier. Yeah, so it's like say like somebody just fucking parachuted in, started fucking people up. You like you got we guns would have too. Such large issues at that point. Like the yeah, if there's someone parachutes in, dog. We have like constant helo <laughs> surveillance. We got 64 fighter jets on board. In the middle of the ocean, someone parachutes it's a, it's in. It's a four billion dollar <laughs> asset. So you're like, what fucking helicopter parachute you in? The middle of the ocean. How to get there? Right. If right, you man. make it to the I'm gonna ship fuel you got there. In, no one can stop you. You're right, in an two, Iron Man. Yeah, suit. yeah how? How are you? 2012 year old Nick Diaz. I'll tell you. I know the question. I think you're asking. But like, if you work a normal job. It, would you have a responsibility to like fight? Do, okay, yeah. yeah. So I went in in 2012. I did, went on a deployment. 2013, I went to something called NSF, which is Naval Security Force. It's like the team of people, because there's people who are designed to that job. They go through school for that job. On a carrier of 5,600 people, like 11 of them at the time had went through that school for that shit. So they brought in like 160 people from every job, every like out of the jet mechanic shop, out of the fucking cooks, out of the people who did the vending machines, because the the philosophy behind this is a community built from within the community best serves a community. And since we fill the role of law enforcement also, we need this. <laughs> Get this right. <laughs> Here. Yeah, so since that is the general philosophy by, by which they serve, I went into that. Uh, it's supposed to be a one-year billet, and I stayed there for like 47 months. So most of the time, this was kind of, you're on shift. There's three shi- uh, two shifts, three shifts, eight hours. They rotate every day. Okay, if you're off shift, but you just worked eight hours, and somebody, like, say we had ships that got way too close, they, like, were pointing guns at us. This is a very common thing because they want us to kill them so they can cry war crime right, right, and right. stuff like that. Okay, you would have to, like, get up out your bed. They would do, you know, something, something, condition hurricane, ready seven. We start launching jets. Everybody, like, runs and gets on the 40 cows, the like irrelevant smaller arms. Uh, so yeah, there were people who were sometimes like everything else that had to like pick that thing up, you know, took yeah. that yaffa. Right. So yes. <laughs> yeah. Is that what that we were is that yeah, what we fucking yeah, drawn to? Get caught and I'm yes. going out with my chopper like Kobe. <laughs> so you heard me? So you, so you do. do. You, you do. do, you do, yes. Yes, right. yes. All All right. Right. Hey, <laughs> fuck. Long answer. Uh, no, short answer yes long answer yes <laughs> yes well, and that yeah. and that Jeez. you're fucking yo man shout NSF out school. shout out Rosie Daisy real shout cool. out Rosie Daisy shout out Rosie bro. Daisy I oh. miss you I was All gonna right. say something I forgot <laughs> fuck what do you All want right. me I don't to know. do I'm hot go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't know where you were gonna go with that answer honestly well I was trying to explain uh, did normal people have to pick up that yapa Okay. okay. <laughs> so just like, but like giving you a fuller understanding. Bro, I didn't hear shit after parachute in, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was so high. <laughs> that I just heard parachute dude, in. Kelvin drives a Corvette now, dude. <laughs> dude Kelvin does Kelvin drive a Corvette. Drives a cor- I heard him pull up yesterday. The music was so loud, I automatically knew some douche in a convertible. I thought they were going to the silent auction. Yeah. Turns you out. Heard, uh, you thought they were going to this. Oh, you, you, you heard me pull up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really? One, so I heard the fucking roar of all eight of those cylinders. Oh. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but then I also heard uh, loud music. Yeah, my car got fucked up, bro. What happened to it, man? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what happened to it? What happened it to it? Open. Cars mess up, bitch. Well, what? How the hell? I thought it was a 2018. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was a 2021. I thought it was a 2020. 
2019? <laughs> is it 2018? What happened? What happened though? For real, dog. Um, I'm by curious. God, you just know your fucking years of Hyundai two songs like that, dog. <laughs> That shit was yeah, how did you know that? Is that a 2018? Uh, you awesome. told me yesterday. Oh, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We were hobbing in the other room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. fucking smacks the hood. Oh, that's 2018, isn't it? Yeah. Just, you you ever hear old people do this? Yeah. Yeah. The tires, yeah. 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 The tires have nothing to do with the car at all. The side glass oh, right awesome. there on the mirror, they put a reflector under it in 69. That's how you know yeah. it's yeah, they, yeah. they haven't. Yeah, ever since they, they did the thing, they Yo, stopped doing this in 2017. does that. Every car. What are you talking about? Yo, man. <laughs> you're you're Tucson. How huh? fucked up? Let me let me get another. I'm a fucking mess, dude. Um, I uh, you know so my Tucson it uh it messed up because um I did not put oil in. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but like, tell him for how long. <laughs> but like, what you what you mean to put oil in? You like no oil changes? Well, I got an oil change. Um, it literally if if somebody <laughs> if somebody offered me money to like would have gave me a million dollars and. If I answer one question right, and that was like... <laughs> when did you get your oil change, when did Kelvin? You, when did you go your oil change, Kelvin? I honestly would have said four months. And being like, I would tell you, like, boys, we got oh this God. money in the bag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would say, no, it was March. Because <laughs> that's when I got it. I ain't going to lie, dude. This year's went by in but, a way where March don't seem that long ago. Yeah, but you know what's crazy, though? Mark? Fucking aliens, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, what's crazy is... uh. Cause it didn't even mark that it was no, like it never. It literally didn't <coughs> mark that anything was wrong with the engine, and the engine obviously was fucking blown out or whatever. And uh, it never marked anything with the oil. Exactly. So no, it, it, it didn't have it didn't have the oil light, light on. Finger. Yeah, like but okay. Not at all. So I'll write you a receipt for oil change six months ago. Then uh, three months ago, they'll never prove it. I'll testify in court. Wow. I did it. I yeah. changed his oil. What are they gonna do? Tell me I didn't? <laughs> Fuck them. Let's get split. This who are, wait, who are you suing? Hyundai. Why would you sue somebody? Honda? Look at Andy Payne Hyundai. is suffering. He's missed his job, dude. He's been, couldn't come in. He here. lost a job. He's, he's a fucking rapper now because he doesn't have a car. <laughs> that, like, sir, he's literally on TV right now. Look at him right there. He's additionally being profiled for being in this thing now. How are you gonna restitute that? This man deserves compensation, is all I'm saying. But anyways, it wasn't so much that I didn't Change the oil. It was more that I didn't have oil in it. It is the car that have. Yeah, so, but that, I never like opened my hood and took the thing out. And, like I ain't gonna lie, that's not. Yeah, but I never fucking figure figure do that. You don't do that. To mail. Yeah. Well, of course this guy fucking does it. But <laughs> any normal person, I feel like don't do that. Like, I, I don't, don't do it like often. But if I feel some weird. The oil, oh blow. yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I feel like was oh, there any? It has an oil filter in it. Yeah. Was there any signs of your car fucking up? No, just like, like one. no, like loss of power. No, like what if it's collusion weird amongst shit. the shops to get a quick? There was, there was, I definitely like felt like it, like it wasn't like yeah, like it wasn't as fast as it was when I first got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, like when you accelerate a car, you expect you know. I definitely always like felt like it was like oh that's kind of weird, but I thought it was some fucking mom car. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Like, like my truck is doing the same thing. thing right now. Nothing nah. weird. I know the issue. No, with my own vehicle, it's like a coil pack problem. Like, yeah, like, it was. The, the plugs or whatever. Yeah. So, and it, that is what, when you told me what was happening, that's what I thought was happening to your shit. But I've been on my shit for like a year, just limping by. Yeah. I don't think it should shut down. So man. I was going to play. a son of a bitch to change out those coal packs, dude. Yeah. And I just don't want to pay somebody else to do it. I know I can watch YouTube and figure it out. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to watch YouTube and they're figure it out. They're expensive, too. Like, they're like 60 a fucking. You don't have a door handle. Door handle was. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what is crazy? <laughs> Dude, that's what it is. That's dude. what it is, dude. No, no, no. So, <laughs> so the oil light and the, and the check light never came on, right? And I was gonna use this as an excuse, right? Please. And the guy that I had to check that that I that I checked it, the first mechanic was like, "Don't drive that car. Get it <clears> towed. <throat> that's dangerous as fuck to drive it." Da 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 da. Blah, blah blah. Whatever. What was his certifications? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was he a fucking yeah. car doctor? Yeah. How old yeah. was this? Honestly, was his honestly, his certification was every other mechanic certification. You wearing a dicky suit? <laughs> you can say anything about a car. You got a dicky suit and no, you got dirty you can, hands. You're older than seven in a onesie. <laughs> All right. You know about, you know about my engine. <laughs> Boots, yo, yo, fucking black one, dirty one, hands. One of those the video. It literally is the one. <laughs> that shit it feels is. hella weird putting it's your pants off, on. Man. Yeah, it is. Putting your pants on and then trying to put your hands through like another thing and then like. Imagine wearing that shit to the club and you had to get naked to take a <laughs> shit, dog. Oh, dude. That's girls in rompers right. all the time. Yes. We don't talk about that often, man. But the girls in rompers literally, I'm like, no, I literally have to get naked to be. But check this out, though. Lower risk because the, the, <laughs> risk, the risk of a girl pissing in the floor around the toilet is minimal. Risk of me pissing in the floor around the toilet? Well, that's 100%. high. 100%. 100%. <laughs> I'm pissing in the floor. 
It's a male bathroom. Why? Why oh, would yeah. you do that? It's a male bathroom. I don't need the floor. Y'all don't, y'all don't just. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Dude, do you know what I think? One, uh, one time I peed in the sink, dog. When I was like hella young, dog. I think it was like, it was like okay. some funny dumb shit. See, like, same, yo, same. Yo, let's be in the sink. That's so fucking nasty, dog. Yeah, yeah. and then y'all touch dicks and shit, dog. Dude, what's nastier? <laughs> human pee or raw chicken? You put putting raw chicken in the sink. Damn, man. Little, but, cl- little Clorox and go, baby. So I was going to play the whole <laughs> oil and <laughs> engine check light thing. But then, on uh, yeah, we Mino was proceeded to drive it all the way to Atlanta. And what could it have been the engine that would allow and for that? 15 minutes before I got to the dealership. It turned on and off on me like 30 times. But uh, like Damn all, 15 minutes before we got into the dealership, bro, the engine and the check light. Came Both on. fucking turn on wow. like blinking and shit. What is the one in Atlanta? The only Hyundai close by? And nah, this this one in Ringo. Why the fuck didn't you go to the one? Because in that's Ringo? the that's the one that all these other ones are like booked for like three months in advance. Oh yeah. Hey, that shows a demand. Y'all should start uh, SOB Hyundai right around the corner. <laughs> SOB <laughs> Hyundai. There's no Hyundai close. Hood man. Hyundai. Hood Hyundai. Dude, I, took, I went out skydiving too, dog. No oh, how was that, man? Like it's kind of gay, man. You strapped to about. a man. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was pretty dope. Um, oh, the video's right here, dude. Fuck. Oh, Look like you couldn't. Well, you said you couldn't breathe. Now rate it. Now rate the video. It's going. So, all right. So, jumps off, whatever. And uh, like, it like, looks like he's struggling to get his yeah. breath. Because then I asked him, and he's like, he says he can't breathe. I can't was laugh. I don't know why he's laughing so hard. He's but. panicking right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. So, was. he's tripping. He wants and out of there. And, but then as soon as they pull the thing, it looks like he kind of like a relief. He catches his breath. Get, well, he's able to breathe, I guess. Post not clarity, I think. Post and not clarity. Looked, he looked at the guy strapped to him in the eyes and kissed him. And then he <laughs> gave us a shout out. I can see him making out right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I, I did the, I, I gave the SOB shout out all the way from fucking outer 10, space. fucking feet or whatever that shit was. Yeah. But no, but literally, it just, like, it, it's, I don't, I loved it and hated it. Number one, it was like, like. you strapped was, to a man. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the weirdest part, His dog. The walls are in your back. <laughs> yeah. That would be the weirdest part for me. So you jump off this thing, dog, and you go down, and like, there's so much air coming at you that you can't breathe, which is fucking ironic. Like, like, well, there's so much fucking air. So, Not to mention the amount of stimulation of just falling out of an airplane. Oh, that's insane. Which already is probably making it hard to breathe. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm trying to catch my breath. Catch my, and I'm like, fuck, I can't. I really can't fucking breathe. So, I'm trying to kind of enjoy it as I can't breathe, which, hey, you if know. you're not breathing, you ain't enjoying it, dog. So, as soon as he pulls the, the parachute, then I could, like, I was, like, up. And I was no longer, like, down. And I could, like, kind of see around and look at the view and shit. I was like, God, this is fucking beautiful. Like, this is dope. Like, I being, can imagine. Being this high up. And, like, because looking out of a plane is different. You know what I mean? But when you're, like, fuck, it looks, it's pretty dope. But I definitely don't like, like, the first 10. Because it's only a 30 sec. They get you from 10,000 feet to the ground in 30 seconds, dog. I've never had the urge to skydive. I know it's Me like either. A, it's like a universal bucket list. Like, I want to go skydive. Yeah. Well, but it's not, it's not, it's not, not on mine. I'm not hating on it. I mean, I, yeah, you're not going to, anybody that skydives a fucking pussy. You're not, uh, yeah. I'm like, get it, but. I'll do it if it was free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm See, not like a big I, thing. I thought, literally, my thing was, we should, like, try to get in contact with these people and, like, do, like, a little ad for them or something like that. Be like, yo, we're going to do a vlog or whatever and we'll mention your business, whatever, whatever, and we should go skydiving, bro. SOBs go skydiving. Yeah. I yeah, Tanya said that too. That'd be dope. Tanya was like, yeah, it'd have been cool if Kelvin waited for y'all so y'all can all experience GoPro, together. The experience, bro. So you can it see. Was, um, it was a surprise. <laughs> was awesome. Yeah. They, they, they do. They have like a like the guy holding you, like I guess the man at the time. They record it. Yeah, man. Finish that off, man. Yeah, for sure. You want me to eat it? <laughs> yeah, eat it. Swallow that shit. Um, do y'all like roller coasters? Yeah, Hell yeah, dog. I fuck with roller okay. coasters, I've dog. I've never liked roller coasters. That feeling, that just like, <gasps> helpless, like, oh shit, we're going fast. I can't stop this. Yeah. That's the scariest thing in the world to and, me, dude. And that's, and literally, that's literally the difference between people that love roller coasters and hate roller yeah. coasters. I used to hate roller coasters for that reason that you said, like, oh, I'm not in control. I'm not driving. Like, what the fuck? Like, I could die and that, you know, whatever. But I realized if you let that go... If you can find a way to let that go, you will love fucking. Like if you get on a roller coaster, you want to let it go. Dude, what do you want to do with this? Eat it. No, it's yours. It's yours. The, the rest of it's yours. yours. No, Man, the no, only, the only like ride that tripped me I out was Six Flags. That like I don't want it. I don't <laughs> eat it. No, I don't want it. I'm scared. The one at Six Flags that like takes you up and like you're in a circle and like you're mm-hmm. going up a little tower and like it just fucking lets you go. Like that one probably trips me out a little bit. 
I feel like no. that's just there's a straight down one. Built yeah, to like, stimulate yeah, like human this. fear. So you don't give a fuck if they do all this other shit. But no, no, that's cool. It was cool. What's it was cool. the most visceral thing we? Can I think it's this the um. Drop them faster than gravity. The boom, just like the shock of like yeah. bam. The anxiousness, the climax. You know what I mean? Because like they keep you up there, like oh, hey. you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and it just and it just. <laughs> Yeah, well, which is my favorite. The, the, like at the beginning, any roller coaster going up, 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 up. You get right there at the very top, and then <sighs> like twists and turns. Why like twisted T? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Hell yeah! We, to, we, we don't want to twee. Sorry, don't block me. Get the fuck out of here, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in order. You're in this room right now. Like no furniture, no nothing. Thirty, twelve year old kids. <laughs> Damn, 12 year old, those are big fucking kids. Yeah, yeah. 30, <laughs> 30, 12 year old kids. How many are you taking out? Eek, go first. Wait, uh, is it you get weapons or nothing? No, no, just fists. I'm going to front side kick the weakest kid I see first. Boom! Hope he knocks into two more kids. They're not out of the fight, though. I think maybe four or five. 30, 12 year olds, I mean, that's a sizable force. Yeah. And that's a violent group that's just now discovered jerking off, and no one understands them. No one understands them. Especially you. Stallione boys say, 12-year-olds are dangerous. <laughs> they are, man. Put it in the headlines. Dude, my, my nephew's 12, and he's fucking huge. I believe Eek the Free called them the most dangerous group. So, all right, so you think you get take, flooded you by 12 year olds? You can take five of them out. <laughs> the, five, the, the woke 12 year old oh, no, crowd. 30. How many do you think you can take out? If there's 30 at once, <laughs> five is the max because you are going to start taking 12 year old feet. It's because you're going to get tripped up over yeah. that many 12 year olds. You're not going to just dance around them. There's 30 of them. And it's you said a room this size? That's a gorilla in a phone booth, baby. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's facts, dog. We're going to be already shoulder to shoulder. Oh, that might help me. I got probably have a height advantage on most of them and could just downwardly strike. And I do think <laughs> it's, it's one hit, one knockout on 12-year-olds if I have done oh, yeah. pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long is my hand going to hold up just bl- blasting 12-year-olds in the face? Yeah. That's, that's just a lot of people don't think about that I'm in fights. Dude, your hand's kid, fucking hurt. My, two of my left. To do the damage of one right, for sure. Yeah, well, start you, throwing if elbows. You, if you punch somebody and your you don't, your fist that. don't hit, don't hurt after, kick, then, dude, kick knees. You really didn't punch them, dog. A deeper analysis: yeah. you throw three elbows and get two significant cuts. The psychology of a twelve-year-old seeing that much blood spraying out mm. of this artery right here, you've probably conquered 30 12 twelve-year-olds by then just kicking them in the back as they try to flee the room. That's true, man. <laughs> Fucking okay. All right, so you think you can take the whole thirty? I, yes, if, said, if I'm using Muay Thai, if I'm just coming out with strong elbows, give us I, a number. We need a number, man. How long do I have to practice these elbows before we start? You got right, a week um, knowing this is gonna happen. You got a two week training camp, dude. I'm yeah. fucking psychologically, just I'm breaking noses. I'm going for cuts. <laughs> How strong can you get in two weeks, dog? Dude, just fucking cornmeal on the elbows. <laughs> Just fucking rough them up, come in there, strike past. But that is true. Like, you used to, like, you know, drawing blood or whatever, and then the, the <laughs> kids. Psychology of a 12 year old, especially today, they were so weak. Yeah. Kelvin, how many? Um, okay, I got a question, right? Uh, are they coming, like, one after the other? Like, how much time do I have? It's like one 12 year old comes in every five seconds. Is it like the Royal and Rumble where they. No, that's not waves. It's just like, there's 30 of them. And you right, so, I'm just, uh, so I'm just in the center and they're like just surrounding me, like in circles. That, that or you're in a corner the, and they're looking at you. No, hold on. First, are you putting me in the center or are you putting corner. me in the corner? Corner. Go corner. corner. Well, I'm fucked in the corner, no, dog. You, just, you can put your weight against the wall and double kick to the chest. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, because that way, no, 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 yeah, no, no one can sneak up behind you. you. Yeah, because, like, you, you're in the middle. Everybody's coming at you. You just, you could be, you could be, you could legs, be Muhammad man. Ali in there, dog, They're with the fucking, in legs. the corner. Um... Probably like three, dog. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, dog. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna just fucking... I mean, y'all, come on, that's a lot. That is a lot, that's a lot. And I, feel like, I feel like, why what? are we fighting? That's gonna be important. Have we killed 60 parents? Are these kids on a game show? First of all, they volunteered. They volunteered to fight. Yo, shout out to your math, dog. That boy quick math is so fast, dog. It's going. It's going to make the kids fight different. Man. <laughs> if their lineage is at stake, then you're not taking out more than two of those twelve year olds. I don't care. Yo, um, first of all, George, what Eek is saying, you got to give us a full backstory right, of right. each of these three year olds. Right. Are they equally male and female? Hi- hypothetically They're speaking, they all males. All, all, all males. <laughs> That sexually Zip. and gender? What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means that they were born like Cis that. Cis males. 
Yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, yep. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Mel's parents aren't dead, but... They should be. <laughs> no. If they're, they're letting their, if they're letting them fight a grown man to see the fucking who to win. They the think. Fight. Yeah, I don't know, man. No, All right, man. All right, fuck the point is, man, it's just 30 little motherfuckers fighting you, dude. We got 60 parents in a metal cage being lowered slowly into a pit of boiling oil. And these kids have to take us out before it gets lower. Oh, dude, they're coming hard, dog. Yeah, yeah, but some, in a sprint. But there's some there's some kids that are like, fuck you, mom. Fuck you, dad, at that age. Some kids wouldn't care, too. Yeah, but they're not going to fight on our side. Bro, we have, not, to, we have to figure out if we can get an animator so we can animate your story about how you're going to take these kids. Dude, because I feel like that would be, be hilarious. So you said three. How many would you take on? Uh, probably not that many. Probably like a solid like eight. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I think, I mean, I think I only take on like three or four, honestly. Man, because like they just come at me and I'm just going to like jump at them. Like body I slam like them. I'm thinking on the, size, on the ground, dude. You're on the ground. on the ground. But even if like you hurt them doing that, like, they can still get up and still keep fucking you up. I mean, you it's, as, as, soon as, you go, as soon as you go down, dude, everybody's just going to get on top yeah, of you. Yeah. like solid chin shot to a 12 year old's enough, though. Oh, no, yeah. But like, like, like that's why your best thing is in the back and just trying to. But like, no how? Lat, they have no uh, traps. Like, They're not, they can't the push you that just hard. snap around. No, I mean, like, it'll but, be kind. It'll kind of hurt, but like it won't no. have power. Honestly, that's crazy. You said that, George, because we have a twelve year old here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I didn't. I didn't think about that, but that's true. I don't think they got power, dude. But it's just gonna be a lot of them that eventually. I mean, you know. It's yeah, hell yeah. Is it's this a lot a of game them. Show? I think that's such a critical aspect of the effort going in. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be on TV. What's on the line? All right, man. It's it's thirty, like, cracked out. 12 year old. Oh, dude, uh, that is a loss. That's not even close. That's, that's not yeah. even. <laughs> They're getting shanks through the metal detector. <laughs> it's like, they just kill you. Sh- I would take one. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a fucking uh, a crackhead or whatever. Or this kid was just probably just some fucking kid was just fucking on drugs or whatever. Broke into a UFC fighter's fucking house, Anthony Smith. Anthony a Smith beat, beat the fucking shit out of him. But the kid like didn't go unconscious or anything. Just he was cracked out of his mind. Damn, so that and that was a prof- a light heavyweight, you know. So he fights at two hundred five. So That's a bad day. Against a guy man. who doesn't even has no record, bro. No, any yeah. And so imagine. Uh, I mean, so he was cracked out, you know. So like you gonna try to fight 12, 30, 12 year old cracked out motherfuckers. Think about the demographic of twelve year old that has access to crack. You're already behind <laughs> the curve. Think bro. about. Think about. Yeah, that's already a dangerous little shit. That is. Yeah. Think about the fucking thief that breaks into this guy's house and then starts looking at all these fucking medals and. Fucking yeah. Medals. Like, you like, oh, shit. It was at this moment he knew. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine that? I'll get the fuck out of there so fast. Yeah, that's dog. me. Probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, the, just the, right as he's coming out with the roundhouse. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's me. I know. Pretty dumb. That's good. I want to do. I want to do that in a music video one day. Like some funny Fight shit like 30, that. 30, 12 year olds. That'd be hard. Fight 30, 12 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> a music video. That would be funny. No, no. Um, do the fucking uh, the little movie thing where shit pauses. Like, and that's me trying to run away from a fucking crazy those. dog or some shit. So. Oh, that would that be that, that, be, would that be would be funny though. Yeah. You could do like a little, like a Friday spoof, you know. It's Friday, you know? Friday, Friday no, 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 no. gotta get SPR. down on Friday. That just do like a cover no, of that. No, no, like um Friday the movie. Oh. <laughs> Ain't that one song is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Saturday. I have to pee, bro. Hey, yes, me, you, me, and you, us both, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, eat three things you're thankful for. Uh. Right Cr- now, right now, you're crack Hennessy and thick bitches. <laughs> hey, Calvin, three things you're thankful for. Hey, crack Hennessy and <laughs> thick bitches. <laughs> Griffin, don't don't do it. Crack don't, Hennessy don't. and my wife. I don't know, man. Crack Hennessy. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to say say that. I can't think of anything though. Twisted T Eek and fucking his shorts. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you guys as always. Fucking. So <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, 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 leave a uh, comment, uh, uh, man. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Can't stay sober. Drop October 1st. Check it out. Hey. It's really dope. That's it. Anything else?
Um, Crack yeah. Hennessy and thick bitches. <laughs> that, that, that's good. That's good, actually. I try to find balance through uppers and downers. I don't fuck with crystal. I don't trust no powder. Mix Molly and acid. It double my power. But it started from nothing. So fuck all my doubters. She asked me why I can't stay so. 